Generics, definitely worth considering. Now to the wedding tradition of a father walking his daughter down the aisle to give her away. A wonderful memory for many girls who've tied the knot. But in Sweden, the practice is being banned because it's deemed too sexist. There are concerns the ban could spread to other parts of the world, so we decided to find out what local couples think. From this moment it's one of those traditions that makes a wedding so special for many couples, when Dad walks his daughter down the aisle. Something that every little girl fantasises about. It can be extraordinarily special. It's just a beautiful tradition. It was nice and it was just proper, it seemed like the right thing to do. For Katrina Hopcraft, getting married at the weekend was as much a big day for her as it was for her dad. It, it crosses every, every father's mind that they, one day they're going to walk their daughter down the aisle. But take a page out of the wedding books in Sweden and you'll find that this old custom is not the done thing. It's even been banned by one priest there who described the practice as sexist. And here at home, it's caused outrage. Apart from paying for the wedding, the father doesn't get to do much else. So I think that's his proudest moment. Bridal designer Wendy Macon says it's not sexist at all, rather an important role for dads to play. Most don't even want their fathers to come into the fittings because they want to surprise them on the day and want that special moment together. It all seems a little bit extreme, like it's tradition, it's not something that's criminal, just all a bit over the top I think. The assistant Anglican Bishop of Brisbane says it's not a practice he would look at banning. And I guess I wouldn't want us to say no. Bishop John Parks says there's a traditional reason behind the official handing over of the bride. When father and daughter walk into the church, uh, the custom is that the daughter takes her father's right arm. And that, of course, is his sword arm. And again, the tradition is that he can't draw his sword, he comes in peace. He's not... However, times are changing, says Bishop John. There's a growing trend with both parents getting involved, even other family members in some cases. Where there are older people, I've sometimes had adult children bring their, bring their parent in. And sometimes, of course, both the groom and the bride are brought in by their parents. But for bride-to-be Linda Simpson, she couldn't imagine what it would be like without her dad by her side. I grew up knowing that dad walks you down the aisle and sort of like you're leaving one family and making your own. For the Simpson clan, it's a long-standing tradition. My father walked me down the aisle. That looks set to continue. No, definitely dad. Yeah, same. Yeah. I wanted to bring him to a, a dress fitting here, but he wouldn't come with me. because he, <laughs> he wanted to wait until the actual day, so see me on the day and get a surprise and give me away, so to speak. Our newlyweds wouldn't have it any other way. Well, my dad's my best friend, so there's no one else who really fits the bill. Who, would who else would you want? And that's the way that I've always known it to be, and I think um, it's the way it always should be. Political correctness gone mad. Now, for a quick look at our program tomorrow, are you a backseat driver? Why the